I just wanted to express how sorry I am. Any of us have to be here today. Man charged in the cruise ship death of his one year old granddaughter speaking out today alongside the girl's parents. Authorities in Puerto Rico charged Salvador Anello with negligent homicide after that girl fell to her death out of an open window. But little Chloe Wigand's parents say it's not his fault, but the cruise lines. And along those lines today, they filed a lawsuit suing Royal Caribbean, saying the company is responsible for Chloe's death. Jenny Renovich has details on the lawsuit and the safety changes that the family really wants now for all ships. Chloe Wigand's sudden death, now the subject of a lawsuit. The toddler from South Bend would have turned two on Friday. We should be celebrating with a present and birthday cake, but instead we're here talking about her death. The tragedy happened on the Freedom of the Seas cruise ship while docked in Puerto Rico in July. Her grandfather was holding his granddaughter on the deck when she went to touch a glass window, but that window was actually open and Chloe fell 11 stories. I see here broken and we all sit here broken, but our family is strong and we will stay strong together. Although her grandfather faces negligent homicide charges, the family blames Royal Caribbean for Chloe's death, calling its windows a hazard. There is no reason for this ship to have walls of glass surrounding the 11th floor with portions that open. If that condition did not exist, Chloe would still be here. Chloe, who loved to go to her brother's hockey games and bang on the glass, um, as you Indiana folks would know better than, than I would, thinking that there's glass there, there's no glass there, and she's gone. The family didn't specify what damages they're seeking from the cruise line, but again stressed they want all ships to get safer. Fix it. Fix it. Change the windows. Put a warning. Do something. Kids are not supposed to die on cruise ships. Now the family attorney says video confirms the grandfather's account of what happened, but the family has chosen not to release that video, saying they don't want the last 30 seconds of Chloe's life to be posted online. Scott. All right, Jenny. Thank you.